In a normal healthy disc condyle relationship, there is effective intra-articular lubrication which keeps friction to the minimum. An increase in friction can result from chronic microtrauma or acute trauma directed at the TMJ. Repetitive minor injuries occurring over a period of time causes damage and these include direct injuries such as a blow to the mandible, indirect injuries such as from whiplash or simple hyperextension. Bruxism is the most common and frequent cause of microtrauma. Studies have shown that loss of posterior occlusal support is a cause of fiscal and condylar deformation and degeneration. Occlusal abnormalities also have been shown to be a fundamental factor in the onset of TMD symptoms. As a result of the microtrauma, the disc loses its viscoelastic properties and that results in thinning or perforation of the disc causing displacement. Disc displacement is one of the most common causes of TMJ arthropathy. Some studies suggest that disc displacement precedes the onset of degenerative changes in the TMJ. Others suggest that degenerative process predisposes the patient to disc displacement. Disc displacement can be anterior, posterior, medial or lateral. Movement of the disc on and off the condylar head can result in a clicking or a popping sound. As long as the disc can reduce, pop back on, range of motion is not limited. When the disc can no longer reduce, this can result in limited opening along with pain and deviation of the mandible. If the disc displaces posteriorly, which is rare, this results in an open lock condition or inability for the patient to close fully. The common clinical symptoms are clicking followed by pain, luxation and open lock. Clinical signs include lack of occlusion on the affected side and deviation of the mandible. It has been found that a high prevalence of posterior disc displacement is seen in skeletal class 3 patients. Treatment includes occlusal splint therapy, which is reversible and non-invasive. It helps in distributing the heavy load exerted on the articular disc during parafunction and increases the occlusal vertical dimension usually beyond the freeway space, which in turn allows the muscles to function more efficiently during contact and be less active during postural functions. Occlusal splints decrease the muscular effort, resulting in relaxation of the muscles and the TMJ. Stay tuned for part 9. Don't forget to save it. Don't forget to share it. Take care.